This is a favourite old Tektronics oscilloscope of mine, it dates back from the 1980s. It's not a teardown, I just want to have a, a look at a couple of little problems it's got. You'll notice this light doesn't come on. Uh, I want to see how easy it is to get in there to fix that. This was about the end of the time when it was purely analog oscilloscopes. This is one of the early uh, digital oscilloscopes, uh, storage scope. These uh, mainframe oscilloscopes can do quite a lot. You can have uh, different time bases running. You can actually have them alternate. Or so basically two time bases of the same signal going on there at one time. Storage part here is... Um, the stored, we can do it acquired. And we have both. The scope also comes with a plug in here, which is basically an extension of this panel. Also, lucky enough to have the manual with this scope, and even better the workshop manual with all the schematics which would be impossible to do much with this scope without access to these anyway let's take a look inside on mainframes these parts are plug-in modules for the amplifiers and access isn't too bad you can actually get into these quite easily but it gets quite busy once you're inside. The sides just come off these scopes once you've undone these but for quite quick access. And once the two screws are taken out of these, you can also lift up this part for a little bit better access. This is the uh, digital the circuits in here for the storage. These are the boards that store the images. Power supply buried in there. And the lamp I need to replace is actually uh, way in here. This is the shield round the CRT there's connections into plates on the tube the tube base is here interesting it's got 3 kV on socket but power supply is quite high it's 21 kV that's on the final anode I think back plane tucked in there. Yeah, it was more a work of art. They don't really build anything like this anymore. Before digital scopes uh, were available, the um, storage scopes that is, uh, this was an analog storage scope, uh, a similar sized CRT uh, with an electron gun assembly, which is very similar to the one in this. Uh, digital scope, but they required flood guns inside the, this tube here, sitting about here, uh, and these preserved a an, uh, stored image in an analogue format on the front of the screen. Uh, with the introduction of digital storage scopes like this one, this became totally obsolete. Well, hope you found that interesting. Thanks for watching.